Yes, exercise 1.6, question number first. If x and y are two sets such that number of elements in x are 17, number of elements in y are 23, and number of elements in x union y is 38, then find number of elements in x intersection y. We know the formula that number of elements in x union y is equal to number of elements in x plus number of elements in y minus number of elements in x intersection y. So putting all the values x union y is equal to 38, number of elements in x 17, number of elements in y 23 minus n x intersection y. We get 38 is equal to 17 plus 23 is equal to 40 minus number of elements in x intersection y. Transferring this side, we get number of elements in x intersection y is equal to 40 minus 38. Then it is 2. Answer. Now, next second question. If x and y are two sets, such that x union y has 18 elements, mean number of elements in x union y is equal to 18. x has 8 elements, number of elements in set x is 8. y has 15 elements, number of elements in y is equal to 15. How many elements does x intersection y have? Then we have to find out number of elements in x intersection y. Again applying the same formula, number of elements in x union y is equal to number of elements in x plus number of elements in y minus number of elements in x intersection y. Putting all the values we get 18 is equal to 8 plus 15 minus number of elements in x intersection y and we get 18 plus 8, 18 is equal to 23 minus n x intersection y then n x intersection y is equal to 23 minus 18 then n x intersection y is equal to 5 this is the answer Yes, exercise 1.6, question number 3. In a group of 400 people, 250 can speak Hindi, 200 can speak English. How much people can speak both Hindi and English? Answer. Let H be the set of Hindi speaking people and E be the set of English speaking people. Then what is given? Number of elements H union E is 400. Number of elements in set H 250. Number of elements in set E 200. And we have to find out number of elements in H intersection E. Using the same formula, we get 400 is equal to 250 plus 200 minus N H intersection E. The number of elements in H intersection E is equal to 450 minus 400 and it is 50. Then 50 people can speak both in Hindi and English. Question number 4. If S and T are two sets such that S has 21 elements, the number of elements in S is 21. T has 32 elements, number of elements in T 32. S intersection T has 11 elements, number of elements in S intersection T is equal to 11. How many elements does S union T have? Then we have to find out N S union T. Using the formula, number of elements in S union T is equal to number of elements in S plus number of elements in T minus number of elements in S intersection T. Putting all the values, we get 21 plus 32 minus 11. Then 21 plus 21 and it is 42. Answer.
Yes, exercise 1.6, question number 5. If X and Y are two sets such that X has 40 elements, X union Y has 60 elements, and X intersection Y has 10 elements, how many elements does Y have? Then what is given? Number of elements in X is 40, number of elements in X union Y is 60, number of elements in X intersection Y is 10, and number of elements in Y we have to find out. We know that number of elements in X union Y is equal to number of elements in X plus number of elements in Y minus number of elements in X intersection Y. Then putting all the values, number of elements in x union y is 60 is equal to nx40 plus ny we have to find out minus nx intersection y is 10. And we get 40 minus 10, 30 and subtracting 30 from 60 we get ny is equal to 30. Then y has 30 elements. Now question number 6. In a group of 70 people, 37 like coffee, 52 like tea, then how many people like both coffee and tea? Let C be the set of people who like coffee and T be the set of people who like tea. Then number of element in C union T is 70, number of element in C is 37, number of element in T is 52 and number of element in C intersection T we have to find out. We know that number of element in C union T is equal to number of element in C plus number of element in T minus number of element in C intersection T. Putting all the values we get 70 is equal to 37 plus 52 minus N C intersection T. Then number of element in C intersection T is equal to 37 plus 52, 89 minus 70 and it is 19. Exercise 1.6, question number 7. In a group of 65 people, 40 like cricket, 10 like both cricket and tennis, how many like tennis only not cricket and how many like tennis? Answer. Let C be the group of people who like cricket and T be the group of people who like tennis. Then number of elements in C union T is 65, number of element in C is 40 and number of element in C intersection T is 10. We know that Number of elements in C union T is equal to number of elements in C plus number of elements in set T minus number of elements in C intersection T. Putting all the values we get 65 is equal to 40 plus number of elements in T minus 10. Then 65 is equal to 40 minus 10 30 plus number of elements in T. Then we get number of elements in T is equal to 65 minus 30. It is 35. Then the people who like tennis are 35. Now how many people like tennis only not cricket? Then people who like only tennis not cricket is number of people who like both cricket who like tennis and number of people who like minus number of people who like both tennis and cricket and that is 10 it is 25 then 25 people like only tennis not cricket and 35 people likes tennis yes question number eight in a committee 50 people speak french 20 people speak spanish and 10 people speak both french and spanish 
How many speak at least one of the two languages? Answer. Let F be the set of French speaking people and S be the set of Spanish speaking people. Then N number of French speaking peoples is 50. And S is equal to 20. Number of Spanish speaking people. And N F intersection S is equal to 10. Both. That what we know that N F union S is equal to N F plus N S minus N S intersection F. Put all the values. Then N F 50 plus 20 minus 10. Then 50 plus 10, 60. Therefore, there are 60 peoples who speak at least one of the two languages.